How's it going everybody? Dstosh here. And with the delay of Halo Infinite, I think that these speculative videos are more important than ever because now we actually have a chance to actually change something in Halo Infinite. And I th thought that it would be great for me to just voice what I want to see in Halo Infinite Forge and maybe 343 will see it. Maybe you guys can just discuss about it or whatever. Just, you know, just getting it off my chest and talking about what I want to see in Halo Infinite Forge. But before that, I have to address some controversy on the channel. Last video, I did a crime that I'm not proud of. And I can't believe it slipped through the editing, but I promise it will never happen again. But you know, I... Uh, I said you know too much, and uh, I'm sorry. It, it won't happen again. I mean, you know, I sometimes you just say you know when you are thinking of stuff, and you just don't know what to say, so you say you know. But oh God, you know, I I'm, I'm just so upset about it. But I promise it's not going to happen again. Okay, all right. Let's get into the video. All right. Well, let's see. What do I want to have in Halo Infinite Forge? Well, let's get to the first thing. Yes, I am talking like a really crappy snake. Um, I would love to see manipulative terrain. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, we've kind of had manipulative terrain in Halo ever since Halo 2 Anniversary, where you got those big uh, pancake slices and you just organize those. And it's just, uh, that works. Um, but I think for uh, budgetary concerns and performance concerns, I think if we can find a way to eliminate all those objects being used in taking up the budget, I think a great way to do that would be a terrain editor. And a terrain editor, if you don't know, is something that we've had in gaming forever. Um, basically, every game engine uses it, unless you're using like RPG Maker. And basically, you can have a flat plane of terrain, and you can move the terrain up and down and like manipulate it like, uh, like gelatin or not gelatin, clay. And you can um, have mountains, canyons, whatever you want. And it's all one asset, uh, at least as far as I know. Um, and I think that would be great just for personalization of what we want to see and limiting the budget. And we've had other games use this. I mean, we've had Far Cry using it forever. And it works great in that game. You can make some pretty crazy stuff in Far Cry. And I would love to have that come over to Halo, just to have the budget limited and have a good overall uh, way to have terrain be customizable. Uh, moving on to my next point, um, I think that custom weather would be pretty awesome. Now, uh, custom weather... I would say we've had in Halo in the past, we've had Halo 5 where you can manipulate the wind speed and particle effects and the time of day to an extent, depending if you change the skybox. But the skybox was pretty limiting and because it's the skybox, it dramatically changes the way the map looks. I would just like a way to slide left and right and have it be 12 p.m. and then manipulate it all the way to 12 a.m. That way I can have a fully customized look and all that and then i'd also like a slider just for uh weather um basically where you could have rain clouds and you know if you want to make a camino map you can be like all the way up and boom all that rain all that lightning and thunder everything or if you want like a quaint little ohio farmstead you could put it all the way to zero and it'd be a quaint summer's day there'd be nothing going on um it would be great um, but moving on, uh, I would also love to have a water level control. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. But um, you basically have, you know, a slider, um, and you could have a plane of water, and you can manipulate it up and down. And we've had this in game engines. We've had this in Far Cry. And I'd love to see it in Halo. Um, I think a great way Halo could really improve it though, uh, compared to Far Cry or uh, make it more like a game engine is basically have that water level tool, but then also be able to change the intensity of the water and script certain aspects of the water to move more violently than other parts. So if I want um, over here to be really violent, say it's in like a gulf and I want it to be like, man, bro, surf's up, bruh. Well, I would love to have that over there. And then maybe the big wide ocean could be, you know, soft and beautiful and just, you know, soft soft like my skin was before the burns by the way do you see my sunburn because look at this like i i don't know if you can see it because i don't have my own like video up but look at the, look at that line god doesn't make in straight lines okay look at that that's it, it hurts I, like when i was in the shower today it was like a mace like shower 
it was disgusting. I, I've never, I don't even know if that's a thing, but uh, it hurt. All right, uh, moving on from my personal stuff, it just hurts. Um, I would also love to have enemy and friendly AI. Now, this is something that we've been asking for forever in Forge, and Tom French, who was the Halo 5 Forge guy, he uh, actually showed some interest in this type of uh, stuff. And he's actually the multiplayer lead for Halo Infinite now, so hopefully he can use his influence and be like, Hey, Forge guys, uh, can we get some, you know, uh, forgeable AI? Because that'd be pretty awesome. Just imagine, forgeable AI. I mean, we've all seen the YouTube videos where they have versus videos where like, a hundred hunters versus a thousand grunts, and then you just see them fight each other. I think if we could do that just in Forge, that would be amazing. I know they can already do it on PC, and I'm jealous, even though I own a PC, but I just... I don't like using it that much. Um, but, you know, just have AI and then have that AI be scriptable. Now, what do I mean by scriptable? Well, dear viewer, can you calm down? I'm trying to get to it. Well, basically, um, I would love to have AI be able to be scripted from location to location. So this group of AI, they have to go over here. And then once they get over here, they can activate this thing. And if they see the player, they could be uh, friendly or antagonistic towards the player or you can make them fearful, or whatever you want. If you just want an entire mission of grunts running away from you, I think that that should be an option in Forge. Now, expanding on the whole scriptable AI, I think scriptable missions would be pretty amazing. Now, um, basically with scriptable missions, I would love to have it where, you know, I could change, oh my God, I said, you know, you know, damn it, I said, you know. But basically, I'd love to have the mission where I could choose where I want to spawn in, say it be in a pelican, flying in, you know, and then I would love to have a scriptable pelican that you fly in and start, you know, boots on the ground like the silent cartographer. That'd be pretty cool. Or a drop pod. Have that be the start of the mission and then have different scriptable objectives within the mission. Say, oh, I want to go and activate this button to deactivate this big shield so I can beat old man to death. I'm talking about the prophets, basically. And um, you could have that and then you could have um, you know, sub-objectives in the mission that are scripted, and, you know, just have a whole stylized mission of what you want. Um, how you want it, the way you want it, anything you want it, that's the way you need it. And, you know, you could have uh, extractions, like uh, scriptable extractions, where you could choose how you want that to play out. And last but not least, my final point is I would love to have importable music and sound in Halo Infinite Forge. Now, why would I want this? Well, basically, um, let me take you all back to when we got to machinimas. Well, basically, machinimas were a form of movie making in a video game, and Halo was the big one for this. And Halo gave rise to things like Red vs. Blue, which became a massive thing, uh, among many other machinimas. And I feel like the age of machinima has ended, but I think that the age of machinima games could just be beginning. And I think that having importable uh, voiceovers uh, for Halo Infinite could allow people to make interactive machinimas, basically, in Halo Infinite. Now, what do I mean? Well, I mean, imagine red versus blue. Um, but instead of red versus blue just being a machinima that you watch, red versus blue is actually a machinima that you play. And it'd be like a full campaign of, you know, custom-made missions by people with voice acting, and it could range from comedies to horror, but, you know, you could have your whole entire catalog of, um, you know, created, user-created missions, basically, with their own plots, their own narratives, their own characters, and they could be voice acted by real people, and it could be great. I think that that could be an amazing new step in the Forge landscape. Imagine just instead of making competitive maps and, you know, custom game maps, you would be making your own story using voice actors and, you know, the map creator to make campaigns that people might remember for ages and, you know, could spiral into their own games. I mean, look at uh, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike was just a mod for Half-Life. And then now it's like its own, like, massive juggernaut. So imagine all these opportunities that this could give to the Forge community. I think it's limitless. And I think it'd be an amazing way for them to expand on Forge. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. It was just, you know, talking about what I want to see in Halo Infinite Forge. Uh, usually I probably would have been hesitant to make a video like this just because Halo Infinite was coming out so soon. 
But with Halo Infinite on the horizon now, I think that a lot of these things could be implemented and I'd love to see them. Um, and, you know, if you have any thoughts on any of this, please leave it in the comments. And remember, if you liked the video, please like it. And if you really liked it, try subscribing. This was DStosh, and I'll see you in the next one. DStosh out.